Children, it's an interesting question. Get offered the ten, ten minutes, amen? It, it, it's interesting. It's, 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 I immediately perked up. The Ted 10 minutes. It's an important thing that Ted's been able to do. Whatever you think of Ted's politics, that's not an issue here. I'm saying it's an interesting thing to arrange for us to talk and to listen. Which is something that's nearly impossible right now. The circle of talking and listening and action, talking and listening and action, talk, listen, act, talk, listen, act, has been broken for us. Brother Larry was just talking about the danger we're in. We haven't been able to sustain a communication to ourselves as a community. We, we've not been able to do that. And the earth scientists are telling us that the physical, the physical systems of the earth are simply going off the rails. They're accelerating like nobody guessed they would. Amen. It's an apocalypse! And what are we doing? We're sitting in a screen which has a very well-produced apocalypse on it, and the real apocalypse is behind that screen. And we leave the screen feeling purged. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. The special effects of that apocalypse just got me, man. <laughs> now, what time is it? Let's get some sushi. Anybody recognize that particular sin out here? Somebody give me an earth hallelujah here today. Earth hallelujah. Amen. Children. The circle of talking and listening and action. Let's go back to a classic example of when we did just that. We had something called, something called town criers. Amen, praise be. A town crier was imbued with the power of the commons. And not only was a town crier able to like be down there at the speaker's corner in the old green place in the center of town, down there at Tahrir Square, amen. The town crier had the, the right, and the town crier had the responsibility to run up those streets, down those alleys, up those fire escapes, across the rooftops. That town crier was charged with the job of shouting so loud and running so fast and having such durability going all over town because that town is on fire and we trust that person to save our lives. Amen, praise be. That shouting must invade into our private moments. We give that guy, that gal, permission to do that. Come on all the way into my bedroom. Come into my kitchen. I want your shout to reach me so I can save my kids and get out of here. Amen. We don't have that person right now. We do not have that function right now. That town crier is not sustained by us right now. The talking, listening, action circle has been broken. And like Brother Larry told us, the evidence that we have before us couldn't be more unprecedented. In fact, we hardly know what to do with it. The air that we breathe, the water that nourishes us, the ground we're walking on. It's not just climatic. I was in Virginia 10 days ago. I could feel the emotions of the earth coming up through this, this brick building I was standing in. Get the baby out of the brick house. Amen. Amen. We now, we now know the evidence of was it, what is happening to us, to each person here, is incontrovertible. It is happening. Now we have to be the earth. 
we have to let the earth rise up with, within us and come out of our heads like a big shout. Amen? We got to all be town criers and we got to all wake each other up. Amen. I want everybody here to turn to the person next to them and say, This town is on fire. 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 Earth Hallelujah. Earth Hallelujah. Uh, we have, for a few decades now, been essentially consumers. We haven't been politicized. We've been passive. A lot of us got fooled into believing that the electronic commons is the same thing as the commons commons. This is a commons. Rod Garrett designed the biggest plaza in the world. This is an actual commons. And we go into this actual commons with our bodies. Amen, praise be. And we radically express to each other with our voices, with our bodies, with our music, with us. It's not the pixelated Reverend Billy. When I'm out there, I'm shouting, and it's me. Amen, praise be. <laughs> it's not my YouTube. Amen. Amen. We have in us, down deep inside, a cultural memory that we can call back up. We have to be radical Americans again. We have done wonderful things. Just close your eyes and imagine, if you can, for a moment, the citizens' uprisings that took place across time. When we, when we shook off, when we resisted, how amazing was that, the British Empire? When we abolished slavery, all the freedom uh, movements, uh, the labor, women, civil rights, gender rights, all, the, the freedom that we're walking around in right now, amen? Hallelujah. That was a gift to us. It was a part of a historical gift economy. It comes across time to us from Americans who rose up, went down to the commons, and risked their lives. Some of them died. It's our turn to do just that. We have to actually risk our lives for life. The earth scientists are telling us that the, the changes that are going on right now in, in the physical systems of the earth are not necessarily taking into consideration our plans. Coastal cities, how we distribute food and money and, and power, that's not necessarily arranged on our behalf. In fact, we're minutes away from total catastrophe. We have to run with our bodies into the commons. We have to run down to Tahrir Square. We have to run down to Syntagma Square in Athens. We have to run down to Playa del Sol in Madrid. We have to go to our commons with our bodies. Amen, praise be, and be radical Americans again. Earth hallelujah. Doing that the first time, that talking, listening, action ring, that circle. I remember standing in circles after 9-11 towers crashed. And we stood in Union Square. We would stand in circles and pass the talking stick. One to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. We would all stay there until we were all done. Resurrecting real talk, real listening, and real action as a result. That's something we can do. It's something that Americans have done. We just haven't done it for decades. We're very passive. We're very politis depoliticized. We're consumers right now. Children, Earth Alluia. I, I think I, I think I made a mistake. I think I think I, I think I was telling you that in our, in our. Amen. Praise be. I think that I think that I said that there was no. That it, amen. Hallelujah, sister. <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. We have a woman. I said that there was no town crier. There is a town crier. That lady. No. There is somebody speaking to us. There is somebody in our talking, listening, acting ring. 
And that is the earth itself. In 2011, we've had an extraordinary time here in North America. The flames, the floods. We've had 900 tornadoes since the first of the year. The earth speaks to us. Maybe, maybe we say, well, I'm not an indigenous person. I'm not a native here. I don't talk to the earth. I don't hear what the earth is saying. No, even European Americans like us, we can do that too. We can listen to the earth and the earth can be our leader. And the earth will go into the commons with us. Because we are the earth. We are 100% earth. Amen. Did you feel that? Hallelujah. earth When we shout earth we are the earth shouting to the earth. Somebody give me an earth here today. earth Well, I see you in the commons. earth Well, we run down there together. earth Thank you, everyone.